Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd, with another video. Well, I've been thinking about uh, making a boxing video, but I honestly don't know what to talk about. Um, and it's funny, yesterday I was looking at T3 Controversy, and he feels the same way. He feels the same way. Uh, something's going on in boxing that it's too bland. You know, it's like a bland sandwich with no flavor. I mean, it's still there, like my love for the sport, but we're simply not getting the fights we want. It's just uh, social media talks back and forth, calling, calling guys out, but nothing concrete. And there is talent out there 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 is good fighters out there but they're just not fighting each other a lot of promoters in the way a lot of uh interest and uh that definitely doesn't give us the the fights that we want to see and it does hurt the sport every other fight that we're getting it seems like it's pay-per-view um even fighters that were back in the days on regular HBO Showtime, uh, uh, Showtime After Dark, or just regular show, uh, regular, regular HBO After Dark or Showtime for that matter, they've had fights just tele telecasting, just fighters up and coming, rising talent. Uh, or fighters that would be on an undercard, basically, and now they're on pay-per-view, like Robert Hellenius. That Deontay Wilder versus Robert Hellenius would have been on regular HBO, or regular Showtime, for that matter. But it's when you get a, a big fighter like Wilder versus an Anthony Joshua, then that's pay-per-view. So I'm not understanding why some fight, fights like Tang Davis and Rolly Romero were pay-per-view. And the list goes on and on doesn't make any sense um, they keep putting out pay-per-views but no one's buying them I want to understand the promoters and do understand that with the uh, rising cost of everything inflation maybe it does it does take a lot to put a, an event together and and just to pay the fighters. So maybe that's why they're pay-per-views. But some, something's gotta give. They just, promoters have to make the fights happen. Crawford, Spence, when? You know, and, and that's the thing. You know, it just goes back to fights, not getting the fights that we want and the, and the boxing fans definitely going going to other sports the hardcore box boxing fans will always be there like me but you got people that sympathize for boxing but when a UFC card is playing the same night they would rather watch the UFC it feels like the UFC puts the best against the best with boxing there's more layers to it and it's more complicated to make these things happen because there's different promoters opposed to the UFC it's just one sole promoter boss which is Dana White so that formula works for them with boxing we have to go back to the late 80s early 90s era where the best fought the best they just promoters have to sit down and, and talk it out and uh and risk some fighters want to risk because they want the reward they just don't want to stand in the shelf waiting for a call get that dust off and, and fight once once a year what happened to boxers fighting twice a year so that doesn't benefit them plus they want to reap the benefits you know they, they want to enjoy that money so we'll see what happens, guys. Um, there are, there's not a lot of good fights coming up, but I would say this: there, there's still content out there. There's, there's still fights out there. There's 
Katie Taylor's fighting. Uh, Jake Paul's fighting. Anderson Silva. I mean, then yes, Bivol versus Surdo Ramirez is gonna. They're gonna fight November fifth, so that will be good. But hang in there, guys. Hang in there. I mean, there's there's fighters like Vaquero Navarrete. They're not fighting. Um, Lomachenko's back. That's good for the sport. But the heavyweight division, I mean, it's the same thing. There's rumors, and you could make a lot of fights. A lot of fights. But it just goes back to promoters sitting down and talking it out and uh, making it happen making it happen for the fan. But let me know what you guys think. This was King Boxing Nerd. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and let me know. Catch you guys later.